Good afternoon, Lombard students. Coming to you live from my office once again. Today is April 14th. It's a chilly day out for April, um, but the sun is trying to peek through these clouds. I wanted to reach out to you and see how you all are doing and, and give you some encouragement and, and let you know kind of what's going to be going down this week and what to expect from your teachers. Um, they're going to be talking to you about SEL, which is social emotional learning, and they're going to be delivering some activities and some challenges for you. Um, this is going to be a little bit different than what, you, what you're used to, um, but, but just have an open mind and, and, and try some things out that they give you. So what is SEL? Basically, it's understanding your emotional needs. Uh, it's, it deals with setting goals and how to build relationships with others and, and making positive decisions. So this week, specifically, we're going to focus on self-awareness. And that's you being aware of your own emotions and your thoughts and your behaviors and what your strengths are and what your challenges are. Um, it's a skill that you develop naturally over time. So if you've ever thought to yourself, why do I feel like this? Or what makes me unique? Or what do I do? What do I want to do when I grow up? Those are natural questions that a lot of adolescents your age have. Um, so there's some exercises you can do to kind of help foster and build that self-awareness. Here are real three little easy ones. Time and space. Make sure you're taking time to slow down, taking time for yourself. Maybe it's a walk with your dog or just laying on the trampoline or in the hammock just, just to reflect. Ten minutes a day really is all you need. Um, just give your, your mind a chance to rest and reflect. Journaling. I've heard this a lot. Um, it's very beneficial for you to just to get your thoughts down. Um, it's also something that will be real nice to look back on um, to see, see how far you came. Uh, to reflect on, on the strengths and the, and the gains that you've made. And then there's something out there called mindfulness. I want you to kind of Google that and take a look at that. It's just a different way to, in a way, meditate. Um, it's proven to reduce stress. Uh, and I know this can be a real stressful time being away from your friends and kind of the life that you've been used to. So check out those three things. Um, try them out. Shoot me emails. I, I'm enjoying getting those from you. Uh, also, um, Make sure, make sure that you're connecting with your teachers. They're really wanting to hear from you guys. Um, we've almost heard from everybody. We're still trying to make those connections. Encourage your friends to check their Google Classroom. Uh, other than that, I hope all is well. Uh, hopefully later this week, I will, I will broadcast from a different location within the school. Some of you have been asking me, what's going on there? Uh, I'll kind of go around and show you a little bit of that this week. Take care. Have a wonderful day.